What's up guys, TC here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Starbound. Today's mission is we gotta find us a steel spoon. And at first that doesn't sound that hard. You know, just, just a steel spoon, right? And then I started thinking about what we gotta do. And so to get a steel spoon, we gotta get steel. And in order to get steel, we gotta get oil. And in order to get oil, we gotta be able to get our matter manipulator to be able to pick up liquids. And to do that, we gotta find these dang matter manipulator modules. We gotta have five of them. And so far we've only found one. So, in order for us to really progress, we gotta explore a little bit. And uh I think the best route's probably gonna be for us to just go planet hopping, you know, just go planet to planet. Uh <clears throat> I really don't know. There's not really, like a reliable way to find those things. So I guess we should just kinda hop over, check out our local system. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and find the uh we I'm sure yeah, here we go some desert planets. Let's just go there and see if we can find uh, some oil or something, at least we'll know, and then just, I guess, scour the the surface of the planets, explore a little bit, find some new items, you know, have some fun. I did, however, craft me some armor, finally, if you'll see here, I got me some hatchling loincloth, hatchling breastplate, and hatchling circlet, which gives me a little bit of protection, so I'm not completely naked, and also, I wanted to make some other clothing, I know I have options here, ooh, I can craft capes, oh my goodness, I'm getting this cape, yep, I'm doing the cape. I can get fiber all I want. Yeah, I love having a back item. Oh, yeah. How do I look? Oh, that's good. That's sexy. All right, let's hop down to this planet. And now that we have a little bit of armor, hopefully I won't be so ridiculously weak. Wow, it is dark. Um, Do I want... What are these? Beak seed. Uh, You know what? I'm just going to collect them anyways. And we also need to collect some coal, really. We're really short on that. So we'll take a moment and grab this coal that's right here. And then we'll just hop on around the planet and just kind of... I think the best course of action is just to check out the surface of each planet uh, and just try to look for chests. And that, that's really all, like, there's no, like, that's the issue. There's no, like, real concrete way to find them. Ooh. Now, that's a pretty cool uh, structure. Speaking of cool, look at the background. It's actually really cool. It's got these big, like, stone structures back here. That's nice. I'm going to collect these as well. What, what is this? What is this? Where does this go? Okay, hold on. Uh, I have to explore this. I can't not explore this. Um, whoop. Mm. Oh, this is scary. I don't know. I feel like this is how you die. There better be something down here. I'll be ticked. Oh my gosh. There's nothing down here. This is a bunch of crap. Alright. I'm, uh, I'm gonna jump out. Alright. Got sidetracked there. And now we got us a dust storm coming. We gotta find us some, just some chests on the surface, and that's probably the. Uh, okay, do we do it? We're doing it. All right, we got the uh, the new. I actually just showed these off in the video that I did. This is platinum, and these are the new. Uh, what do you call it? The new little status pods, whatever you find underground. And some of them, they occasionally drop those little bombs that convert the ground into a uh, an ore. It's really. Really a cool effect. It kind of lets you, like, seed the dirt, you know, with, like, ores. And I know it does lots of ores. It doesn't do just platinum. It does, um, it does gold. It does diamonds, stuff like that. Like stuff you wouldn't quite expect. I'm going to grab this coal, too. So, yeah, those are really cool. But also, the, the crappy part is if you have bad luck, you know, there's some new bad ones as well. There's one that shoots, like, lasers or whatever. And there's one that just drops straight up bombs. Ooh, a chest. Uh, oh, wait, a new spear. Oh, this one looks better, too. Oh, and it's ice. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This one does 14, and swing speed's .96. This one, oh my goodness, this is such a better spear. And it looks sick as shit, too. And I got this. I will freaking take it. Got us a new spear. Yeah, oh, it looks sick, too. Okay, how do we, um, is there a way to get up there? Ooh, there's a chest. Chest, chest, chest. All right. Let's uh, drill in here without breaking too much. Torches, thank you. Yeah, there's an annoying bug right now where the stuff still doesn't stack very well. So you're going to occasionally find that, um, like I have a bunch of crap in my inventory right now, like a perfect example is these bandages. They're not spread out on purpose, they just don't stack. Just like these torches here don't stack with these torches here. So that's really annoying. Please give me something good. Another spear. 21, no, don't, wait, hold on. This one does 21 at, at .99 or .93. This one's 21 at 1 1.0. So swing speed, this one's a little better. Just a tiny, our new, our, our one we collected already is a little bit better. Ow. Hmm. I suppose we'll heal up a little bit while we can. I really don't think we need these cactuses, though. 
I'm so glad we got a new spear, though. I really love the, the ice effect. I just, I don't know, it just makes things a lot easier to deal with enemies when they're slower like that. But, yeah, I don't know. One thing I'm really looking forward to is I want to see where they go in the game. Where they go in the game with the, the the staves or whatever they are. They, they like, it's like a, a class of weapons you can play with later in the game, but you can't, like, I don't know, they just don't feel complete, you know? And from what, from what I understand, they don't have any plans to change them, and there's just no, uh, oh, hello. What do you sell? I find you disconcertingly sorry. Oh, I find you disconcerting, sorry. What? Uh, what? You don't do anything? Ugh, okay. Oh, we found a whole village. Oh, yeah, or, well, maybe, I don't know. What's up in here? Do you got food in here? Wow, no food? Nothing. Okay. You are useless to me. Anything down here in these? No. Open the door. No, no, no. Dude, come on, you're pointless. I hate you. Okay, well. Anyways, like I was saying, the uh, the staves, they're, they're such like, a weird item in that they don't, like, I don't know, the, the problem now is that, yeah, they're strong and they take a ton of energy, but you can't move when you cast all the stuff you want to do. And that's that's kind of what's making them not usable right now, because really in Starbound, being immobile is, like, that's pretty much death. You're, you're done. You're not going to survive if you can't move. You know, this game's all about being mobile. Wow, this weather is driving me nuts. There we go. I do, man, I freaking love the background right now, though. Back up, you bastard. Ugh. Look at the sunset right there. Come over the, man, Starbound does such a freaking good job of painting, like, a really, really cool background. And is this, what is this? What is this? Is there stuff in here? How do I get in here? Hmm, I'm just going to have to drill my way in, then. Wow, um, what's in, is there anything in here? There's something, maybe? Is there a chest? I think there's just a grave in here. Uh, I don't quite see, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Um, now, we've already been in one of these, we just drill away at this. And we should better go up top, right? I don't know, there's stuff here. I can't see nothing, let's put some, uh, torches up. There we go. Wood, I'll take it. Copper, I'll take it. More copper, not the best in the world, but I'll still take it. Oh, come on, man. I wanted something good. Hmm, my throne. Anyways, moving on. Well, that's annoying. Huh. Well, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with those staves, man. It's such a... Oh, back up, back up. Such a weird topic, because they... You know, you've got all the other classes, like, basically you've got guns and you've got melee weapons, and then you have the staves, which I suppose are, like, the magic class in this game. But they don't really do a good job of it. It's it's too hard to really, to play that role, you know? Like, if, if you've ever tried, because ideally, you know, they have you pick the different tables, and you can uh, pick, like, that's kind of like the, the course of combat you're taking. But you really can't do that with the staves. Like, it's it's really difficult to, like, yeah, you can do melee class, or you can do a gun class, but the staves, man, I don't know if you've tried, but it's so hard to, to progress in the game without like using just the staves. So I really hope, and, and my, ideally what I would have them do is I would have the staves drop a, uh, like the the right, oh shit, where are we? Oh, we're in oil right now. Urgh. We need to get this guy off my back. Back up, you bastard. There we go. Let's get some light. Are you serious? You better go away, buddy. Oh, we're in a tar biome. Okay, okay, I can dig it, I can dig it. And here's that oil stuff. That's cool. Anyways, like I was saying, the, uh, th what they need, I think, is like a primary and secondary ability, which if you know, they're doing that to guns already. So, like, guns are going to get a primary fire and a secondary fire for all the two-handed weapons. I think that the staves should have the same thing and at least be able to, like, walk when you're casting, you know? Because right now, they just don't have a very good function. Like, it's, it's so hard. Like, why would you use a stave over a normal gun? Because it just forces you to stand still. It's just, like, not a really usable play style. So, uh, my suggestion would be to have them, like, a primary and secondary ability. Let's heal up a little bit. Yeah, so heal up. And I would have the, like, maybe, and maybe have them do, like, you know how the, the guns are randomly generated. Why can't we have randomly generated stabs as well? Like, so, you know, maybe you get a staff that has two offensive abilities. Left and right click are both offensive. Or you have one where the... Left click is offensive, right click is defensive. I would like something, I would love some defensive abilities, some like, 
mobility options, like ones that spawns like an energy shield or like an energy platform you could jump on, and those would be like defensive abilities, and then you could have the the weaponized like attacks could be your offense. Well, then you could find randomly generated staves in the wild that have like you know some are offensive staffs, some are mixed, some are defensive, and so at least you have some like variability. Right now, there's no randomly generated staves in the game. You only have the ones that you find, and they're just so it's like the least completed. Uh, like weapon class, you know, so it it's definitely something I think they should address. Oh God, ouch! Um, I need to eat up. Yeah, I think they they definitely need to go about and, and make another pass of that because they're doing such a good job with the guns and all the other stuff. Really, it would be a shame for them to not touch those uh, those stabs. Have we already been here? Hmm. I don't think we've gone that far. And still, we've only found one freaking chest. This is, oh man, this is one of the annoying aspects to those uh, quests like that. Wow, this is a weird looking house. Is there a door? Oh, it's on way over there. Well, too bad, buddy, I'm breaking in. I'm breaking and entering, I don't care. Let me in, what do you got in here? Anything worthwhile? Anything in here? No. Hmm. Nothing? Do, do you do anything? Ever played hopscotch? Uh, as a kid, yeah, ooh, a chest. Nothing in your chest? Dude, you suck. Although your house is very interesting. But anyways. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't wait for the, the update they're doing now with the uh, the weapons and the guns. And obviously they're going to have to... They're going to absolutely have to do something with the the tech. Because, man, some of the tech's just like... I, I don't know. Like, So you have, the, you have the boost jump, which I don't have any tech right now, which is kind of a shame. But if you notice, there's that new one called flying jump. And it's four times the boost jump, which is, like, really, really powerful. On top of it, you got things like uh, rocket boots and all that stuff. And it really makes the platforming aspect of the game kind of just disappear. You don't have any... There's no point in platforming when you have rocket boots. And the worst offender of all is Blink. Oh, my God, Blink. Blink's the worst. Like, it's so it's so crazy overpowered. Like, you don't... Why even use a gun when you can just teleport into your enemy like that? You know, like, you can just stand here with the most powerful melee weapon in the game click on your enemy and just ouch and just immediately why am I not shooting my gun uh, yeah just click on him and just hit the the melee weapon the melee button and you immediately teleport to him and he dies like there's no point in using any other weapon than a sword if you can teleport to your enemy with any diff like any distance so I kinda hope they just get rid of the blink altogether because it's such an overpowered um, tech like how can you balance that like there's no aspect of platforming when you can just teleport wherever you want to go, you know? And if they made it extremely expensive, like, it, it guarantees it uses up all of your energy bar, maybe. But even still, your energy, re like, regenerates pretty quick. So you could still just take your time. It wouldn't be that much of an issue. I mean, this oil is really annoying. So I, I just don't see a way to balance it. Like, if they gave it a really short range, I just don't see it would have a use. It's one of those things where if you nerf it at all, it's pretty much useless, you know? <laughs> Stop. Everyone just, everyone's so violent. I didn't do anything to you guys. Ugh. You too, pal. Give me your pixels. So, is that anything in here? Anything in here? And, uh, wait. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Oh, wow. We actually are stuck in here. Wonderful. Ugh. And this freaking oil effect. Makes you so slow. So... I don't know. Can he attack me when I'm in here? He can. There we go. Yes, these beds, they, they heal you up so slow, but I'd rather not waste my bandages on them. And here we got this beautiful sunset in the corner. Yeah, Sarbon does such a good job of, of making good scenes like that. I'm loving the new parallaxes they have back here. Makes it, uh, makes it a lot more, like, uh, it makes you feel like you're more part of the game, you know? What is this? Man, these little these little micro dungeons can go straight to hell. All this extra oil crap. Well, we're not going down here. We already know there's nothing down there. Oh no, this one's filled in. That's cool. I'm glad they put some variety there. What is? Are you okay? So nothing in here. Yeah, see, there's nothing in these things, but just little like little uh, what do you call it? Tombstones, I guess. Go away, bird. 
I'm really kind of disappointed right now we haven't found a single chest. This is where we beam down, too. So we're going to beam up and hop to another desert planet. That, that's, like, one of the crappy things about using an RNG, like, you know, random number generator, is you just kind of got it lucky. And that's, it's a little bit annoying that you have to rely on your, on just straight luck. So there's no way I could possibly, like, there's no way to just speed up us finding uh, manipulator modules. Like, we just have to, we have to just run around. And if we don't find enough today, which I kind of don't think we will, what I might do is just off camera just explore on my own because, I don't know, I don't want it to get stuck in this thing where we just explore every day, every episode. Because potentially we could be spending hours, you know, just looking around planets trying to get these stupid modules. So, uh, I, do, I, I do a little bit of stuff off camera now. Like I clean up my inventory, I craft a few things every now and then, but not much. But in the future, in order to make this kind of thing work, I might just... Uh, go hunting on my own for this kind of stuff because this is annoying, you know. Like when you when you just have to, you're at the the hands of the RNG. But man, I'm liking these new structures though; they're pretty cool. Won't lie. Oh wow, you are disgustingly hideous, and you shoot rainbows. Oh my shit! Come back here. No, you shot a rainbow at me, buddy. Oh, and he's strong. Ow! He's a strong guy. Okay. Uh, can I eat that? Yeah, I can eat that. Oh yeah, are you are you mean? Good. Yeah. Oh man, some of these monsters are just hideous, and they're such assholes sometimes. There we go. Another one of these little tombs. I don't know. This planet's not as pretty in the background. I mean, it's still. Oh, it's still. Uh, it's still nice. It's just not, you know, as good as it could be. Are you? Don't be a dick. Go away. All right. And this. The region from the food is so slow. Ooh, ooh, chest, 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 tech, chest. Whoop. Oh, teleporter core. All right, this is really good. This is really good because teleporter cores are really, really rare, or at least they're supposed to be. So, once I finish healing up a little bit, I'm gonna hit this thing because I'm afraid it's gonna, it's gonna like kill me. Screw it. Yep, sea bombs. Look at that bullshit. Well, at least I didn't get hit. Thank you. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. Nope and nope. Wow, th this is you. This place can just go straight to hell. Ooh, I see an egg up there, though. I want that egg. I don't know why. I... Huh? Can I do this? Yeah. Look, egg. Give egg. Egg. Yes. Learn to craft fluffy ruffs and pearl pea pancakes. Okay. That'll do. I can dig it. Always like new food. Whoa, buddy, whoa, buddy. Oh, it's the rainbow monster. And I can't fit. Is this a trap? This looks like a trap. No, why does this look like a trap? It is a trap. With nothing at the bottom, though. And I now realize that I have screwed myself. Hmm. There we go. Well, interesting. I do love my freaking new spear, though. This thing's sick. It, is, it even looks better than the old one. Let's see, Urgh. man, these, this one is this. These little tar pit trap things are so annoying. Cause there's nothing you can really do. Like without a uh, without a jump boost tech, you can't do anything to get across them. You know, I just gotta kind of suck it up and go across. Urgh. Bird, piss off. Yeah, see, I told you. I told you. These little three-eyed crows thing are pretty cool too. I saw those, and let's let's heal up while we can. Let's check out our inventory. Anything we don't care about in here? Mm, little plant fiber, although I still need that. Eggs. I wish. I'm hoping in the next update when we get the uh, the what's the the colonization, they'll add the farming as well. Because right now there's really no way to get uh, like like I would love for you know you you can't really farm animals. Like right now there's only plant farming. And I think a cool thing in the future would be like animal like pairing, so you can have you can breed animals to make more. It's like cows, space cows, whatever, space chickens, whatever to get eggs. So like you can have crops, and you also have like farm animals that uh, that you can breed and kill, and probably develop resources. So like like imagine cows that can give you milk, and chickens that you can get to hatch eggs and stuff. So I'm hoping that kind of comes in the next little bit of an update. I'm not sure how they would do it. Holy shit, look in the background right now. That's a freaking skeleton back there. 
Wow. So, so all these biomes, there's probably more than one or two parallaxes per per biome then, because I've never seen that. So that's really cool. Okay. All right, Chucklefish. Good call. Back up. Yeah, that looks sick, man. Wow. Okay. Um, so I've got to jump up here. See, I hate not having my... What do you call it? My, my double jump. Why can't... Oh, the cactus. I hate not having the double jump, though, man. I feel so slow and immo immobile. Nope. Look at that. Just noped you. Nope. <laughs> nope. Sorry, bud. I remember back in the early parts of the game when you could, uh, when it was it was cut up into sections or sectors, uh, in the, when the game first came out, and you can go out to like alpha or gamma alpha sector, beta sector, gamma sector, all that stuff. And I actually liked that at the time because what it meant is if you were like, if you were brave, you could go to like uh, a sector that was like really far ahead of you and get a really cool weapon. But the problem was, you, like everything on the planet's a lot more powerful than you, so you can go to like. Uh, a gamma or X sector or whatever it was, the very last one earlier on in the game, and you could find a weapon on the surface that was like a lot stronger than what you could find normally, and it allowed you to kind of like not cheese it, but like if you were if you were brave, you know, you're bold and you, you know, you wanted to try to uh, speed up the rate, you could always go to one of those uh, higher tier planets. Another thing that was kind of cool was, and and I don't I don't necessarily miss temperature, but temperature was a cool aspect. Uh, I wouldn't mind it now if, I don't know, it, it'd have to be redone. I don't know how to say I, I would want temperature to be done now. I wouldn't mind it being back in some form. But it was definitely cool that you had to, like, you know, as you went really deep underground, you had to put, like, torches and campfires down to keep your body heat up. Ow. So, there's definitely some stuff that I know that, that would be really cool they could add into the game. But they're going to have to be very careful on how they do it. You know, because I, I could see temperature could be really annoying, just like how hunger was really... Like, Hunger isn't going to have to be done. It's going to have to be re, I don't know, reassessed. Like, however they plan on doing it, they're going to have to make sure they, they do it right. Because hunger is one of those things that's either completely unnecessary and it's just tedious, or it's, like, I don't know. It, it's hard to find a good balance with hunger, you know? So, that's kind of the, the big issue. I, I look, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing because you want it to be, like, you want hunger and you want the temperature and you want there to be a good challenge but you also don't want it to be straight tedious and how hunger was at a, for a time was just tedium you know because you could have a thousand of a food on you so you'd walk around with a stack of food and it basically provided no real benefit and you'd basically just be eating uh it just like a, it's like a basically a timer every so and so many minutes, seconds you have to click this button and that was it there was no strategy to it who is there an egg up there i want another egg i'm gonna have to get me some more dirt here in a second though uh so I keep using all my dirt. Oh yeah. Got another egg. So what's here? Nope, dude, you need to stop. Anything in here? Uh I think we're back. I think we're back near the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna do a little quick run. Yeah, I think we're definitely back at the beginning. All right, we're going to pack it up. <sighs> well, I guess we have to head to another planet, but um, unfortunately, we're running out of time. So I think what I'm going to do is, in the meantime, I am going to go searching for some mat matter manipulator modules off camera. Matter manipulator? Yeah. Some manipulator modules. I have to get five of them. And what I might do is I'll either, next episode, if I found a couple, you know, within the hour... What I'll do is I'll just start another another episode and we'll continue exploring. But I don't want to I don't want to spend like five or six episodes exploring, find, trying to find these modules. So I'll probably do a little bit of exploring off camera, get a few, and then I'll pick it back up on the next episode and we can find the rest and then we can continue the story. But uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.